shouting for me, nation. <laughs> How are you? How are we? My name is Fumite Salufold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed. I did a live yesterday, yep, on Instagram, and it was so nice to connect with so many of you from all over the world. And you had a couple of requests. And one of them was, how do we walk elegantly? How do we walk elegantly? I want to know how to walk elegantly. And I thought that is a fabulous episode to do because I also learned how to walk elegantly over time. Now, if you're wearing sneakers, you're gonna walk differently. If you're wearing kitten heels, you're gonna walk differently. If you're wearing high heels, you're gonna walk differently. Your shapewear, you're gonna walk differently because sometimes I have seen some girls, yep, 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 let me do it now, yep. I've seen some girls and, and they did this. <laughs> Digging their panties out of their bottom because you have to understand that your shapewear, number one, that your clothes are not tight because you'll be tugging, you'll be pulling as you're walking. So when somebody is looking at you, we're like, is she okay? Or maybe the dress is not uh, copacetic. Make sure that your clothes are comfortable. This is one of my go-to dresses. If I'm going to a wedding, going to church, pick up somebody from the airport, I'm gonna meet somebody. Why? I don't have to think about it because my bust is relatively covered. The sleeves are free. It hugs in the waist and it is free at the hip. I love, love, love shapewear because it gives you the confidence to know that it's not necessarily the front we're looking at, but even when I turn, girlfriend is still looking flawless. Girlfriend is still looking fabulous. So I brought some things out here and we're going to walk with them because it really, really does make a difference. On top of which, you can't wear tight shoes. If you wear tight shoes, you're like, <laughs> it's not a good look and on top of that you take the shoes off and you wear slippers on the one day that you're looking cute and your future husband is checking you out you're wearing slippers because you're wearing white tight shoes then of course we've got those that are shy the shy girls i don't know i, I can't come in i don't want to come in is is anybody there of course people are there it's a wedding I understand. It's a restaurant. Of course, people are there. You are shy. And so you don't know how to walk in. Then we have those ones that just walk any kind of way with your hands flying. March, march, turn left, turn right. Let's go. Yes, go. No, we're not in the army. You cannot swing your arms all over the place. So I'm going to tell you what you can do to curtail that. You're so beautiful, ladies. You really are and you've got wonderful figures. Whether you're plus size, whether you're petite, whether you're short, whether you're tall, whether you've got knock knees, whether you've got bow legs, it doesn't matter. That's what makes you what? That's what makes you fabulous. That is really what makes you fabulous. And if you walk and you get it together, as I'm going to show you, whether you're tall, whether you're short, petite, bow-legged, not need, bigger hips, it's not going to make a difference because I'm going to show you how you walk with your core. What is your core? Your core is your tummy. Stature is extremely important. If you walk with your head down, this is how you're walking everywhere. You know, you're not even exciting. You're like, oh my God, there comes Sherry again. You know, hi Sherry. No. Put your head up, put your shoulders back. You will find that once you have this kind of stature and you hold your tummy in, it is an introduction to you saying to yourself, maybe I can do a little bit of you know workout, maybe I can do a little bit of exercise. Because you're already doing it. You're already putting your shoulders back, you're putting your chest up, and you're holding in your tummy. And that is better than any girdle shapewear will give you trust and believe and your bottom that is that beautiful peach that shape it should not be restricted like this because I don't care how good you walk 
it's, it's not going to look good. So we are trying to accommodate whatever peach you have, even if it's as big as this. It doesn't matter. You chose it, so now we have to dress it up. You know what I mean? If you have big bust, not to worry. You have to wear the right size bra. And you also have to wear the right size when it comes to your dresses. I heard somebody say, oh, I wear oversized shirts because I'm big busted. But what about the waist? Because I've got a bust, but also showcase your waist. And if you feel, oh, you know what? I've got that tummy situation. Then you wear the empire. You wear the empire dress that caters right underneath your bust, which is one of the smallest parts of anybody's body, anybody. And then you can flare it out. It's never the size. It's the shape. If you dress for your shape, you look like a million dollars. When you know you look like a million dollars, what happens? You get confidence. In that confidence, your head is up. You understand what I'm saying? And in so doing, you now, last chapter, we now cater to your gait. And your gait is your walk. Do not walk too fast. That's New York. <laughs> I lived in New York, so I know. You grab your bag, you got your coffee, and this is how you're going. <laughs> and you're, uh, that's why they bump into each other. And I understand you're running late, you gotta get to work. But majority of the time, try to walk with a pace. And it can be very smart and it can be very sharp, but you walk with a pace. I lived in New York, so you had your coffee, you had your tea. I will show you how to walk with your food, with your bagel. I'll show you how to walk because you gotta go on the go. Alrighty? So let me start with a pair of heels. And we are going to start with a pair of high heels. Yeah? So I'm going to put these on. And these are sling bags. <laughs> Let me just grab, grab this. Okay? If I walk into a restaurant with high heels, I always hold my bag. Because it gives me balance. And I'm able to support myself. Be very aware of the kind of material that's on the ground. Sometimes the tiles can be slippery, restaurant, water, soup, whatever, chairs. And I always make sure I always grate the bottom of my heel. Always do that so that you have grip, especially with high heels. So this is me. I'm coming on my own. So I have to have the confidence because if I walk in, I will most probably be looked at, not only by the metro D, but maybe some of the tables. So I have to come up with confidence. Sometimes it can be a bit much. I really just focus onto the tapestry. I really do. So when I walk in, I have my bag in my hand. That gives me the support. Once I walk in, I stand, I pace myself until I am redirected as to what table I am going to be at. Now, the walk now is this. Take your time. If you rush, you can fall, mama. Don't do it. And then you start to walk and you start to bend your knees. Don't do that. So what? You have to straighten up. When you come in, very strong. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Small, steady, paced steps not slow but not fast either i'll do it again let me do it from the back i am very conscious of my bottom very conscious of it i make sure majority of the time i wear a full panty i do so that i have bottom control so when i walk i don't want to swing my hips i don't need to i'm a woman my hips will swing by itself you want to walk straight and in so doing suck your tummy in and pull your shoulders back and you will find yourself walking straighter okay
Let me do it again. Pace yourself. Make sure that your heels are steady on your feet. They're solid heels. You take your time and you walk. Practice that. Practice that. Try and make sure that your hands are down and not swinging. Be cautious of it. I found that when I suck my tummy in, try it. Because you have to suck it in, you're standing up. You're standing straighter. And in so doing, when you walk, you just keep your hands literally by your thigh. Because when you are walking, yeah, your thigh comes this way, yes? That's where your arm, your hand should not exceed or pass over your thigh. I'll do it again. You're not modeling. I know some of you might say, oh, but for me, this is modeling. No, 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 no. That's not modeling. This, my darling, is modeling. That's when it's exaggerated. That's when you exaggerate the hip. That's when you lean on a hip. That's when you turn around and you exaggerate. This is modeling. This, my darling, is walking. All right. Let us go with kitten heels. Da -da -da -da. So kitten heels are much easier. You're much closer to the ground. <laughs> You're much closer to the ground, honey. And I can understand, some of you might say, for me, you know what, I'm shy. Well, guess what? My sister is also shy. And I have found that if you wear sunglasses, sunglasses that are not smoked out, tinted glasses, it works. So you're walking and it's much better much closer to the ground and then you have a coat so people think oh god it's so heavy i can't with my coat the coat is fabulous coats are always fabulous and you have what your tote bag the tote bag is the best bag ever to have when you're walking the tote bag will balance you out always make sure that you have enough space to put the bag onto your shoulder okay so you got your bag and you can walk with your kitten heels what you can do also you can put your hand in your pocket and you are stylish every frame that is taken of you by whomever is going to look fabulous it's an easy gait the kitten heels are lovely it's a lower heel and it's much easier to walk in than a higher heel I will also suggest that if you're wearing kitten heels, make sure that day, that distance is not too far because you might get a little bit tired. Make sure that the event that you are going to, that there's somewhere where you can also sit down. You can stand up and you can sit down. I don't suggest for you to wear kitten heels when you're going shopping, but if you're just going to one or two shops, boutiques, for example, to buy, you know, an item, you can rock it and like I said, holding onto your bag, putting your hand in your pocket will help you walk elegantly and forever, forever stylishly. Yeah? Okay. So now we're going to walk with sneakers. Okay, so what we're doing, we're wearing our sneakers and you think, yeah, you know, I'm wearing sneakers. I can kick it. I can walk any kind of way. Yeah, what's up? This, that, and the other thing. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You should still walk elegantly and stylishly. And when it comes to wearing sneakers, guess what I do? I squeeze my bottom. I squeeze it. I really do. Relaxed, squeezed. Relaxed, squeezed. I squeeze my bum. 
Yes, I do. And it's good for toning. And you find yourself walking in a pace. You are pacing yourself. You can relax every once in a while, but just to be conscious of it, especially when you are backing away. Because you always want to look really fluid and seamless. I personally, I personally, I don't like that rumba shaker loose bum. I don't like it. If you're not dancing at a carnival, then you should not be displaying your bum in that fashion. You just should not. And I think that it is the furthest thing from elegance. And that's why I said you squeeze your bottom. You squeeze your bottom when you're walking. And that curtails, it really controls the way that you walk. You can have your coffee and you're going. Walking down the street is absolutely fine. In New York, absolutely fine. You make sure that your arm is a good distance, that of course the coffee doesn't spill on you and then of course you get rid of it once you're done. But you can hold your coffee, you can have your glasses, you, you can have your bag and you're stylish. You're wearing fun sneakers, whatever color, so far as they're fun, you can wear. Because in New York, you wear a lot of sneakers until you get to work. And sometimes I do the same thing. Sometimes I really just go out with sneakers. I have my coat, my glasses, whatever. And I go because I'm running around that day. And that's why I always have a hobo bag so that I can put everything in it. If it's warm, if it's cold, if it's raining in London, absolutely. But your fun sneakers, wear those, wear them with jeans, with skirts, whatever. But when you are walking, make it a point to not walk fast. Make sure that you're not walking like this. I see it all the time on the side. Your bag is too heavy, so you're walking like this. It's not elegant. I can understand that you finish work and you want to buy shopping, you want to get dinner, you want to take that home. Get another bag so that you have your bag, you got your shopping bag, and you go and you walk. Because people are looking at you all the time, all the time, and you want to look fabulous at all times and once you practice and you're conscious of this you will see that your walk will improve and above all else that i have noticed when you walk into a room so elegantly it is the loudest announcement without anybody calling your name because they're like who is she she has to be somebody so I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, <laughs> hit the notification button, my darlings, and you let me know whether you enjoyed it and whether I should do more episodes like this. All of my love, my darlings. Thank you so very much. Mwah. <laughs> <sighs>